the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. Know the Earth. Show the way. Understand the world. The NGA provides computer mapping support for defense agencies. The organization has two main offices in the country, and one is in St. Louis. The NGA wants to expand to a new campus, with four sites as the agency's potential new home. Illinois and St. Louis are the perceived favorites, and both have offered packages to the agency. Illinois and St. Clair County next to Scott Air Force Base, and St. Louis in North City, next to the old pruitt Igo site. Illinois leaders think their site works best for the NGA mission. If you focus on the mission, you know, the mission is to provide national security information analysis to our war fighters and our intelligence agencies. For accomplishing the mission, we must make sure that it's one of the most secure facilities it can possibly be. You have that with being adjacent to Scott. It's 400 acres of free land. Uh, and understand they don't need 400 acres, but it would be available to them if an expansion would occur. The proposed site is also near Mid-America Airport and the Shiloh Metrolink Station, which the county said it might extend if the NGA comes. While Illinois leaders focus their proposal on the agency's military mission, St. Louis has another focus. Robert Cardillo, who's a director of NGA nationally, he said that we're no longer in the Cold War era. Being closer and, and being more connected communities is something that's important to them. St. Louis is offering 99 acres in North St. Louis to the government at no cost. Missouri will give up to 95 million in tax increment financing. The offer has some business owners in the area excited. From a purely selfish standpoint, I'd love to see it because you're looking at, you know, over 3,000 jobs, they're gonna move up here. So that's 3,000 people that may or may not choose to walk through my front door. It's in close proximity to the growth that's happening in the Cortex Innovation Community uh, here in the Central West End area. And if we look at what the millennial demographic is really looking for, they wanna work, play, live, uh, learn type of environment where they can be car optional. And I think that the opportunity in, in North St. Louis provides that. The proposed St. Louis site is also near the former pruitt Igo housing project, a poster child for failed federal housing policies. One of the problems that we have in, in, in this city and in many, many other cities is the separation of races. This is an excellent opportunity for the government to at least recognize the value of diversity and move it to North St. Louis, which is an area that is predominantly African American. Except some neighborhood residents aren't happy to see their homes threatened. They're gonna take us out of our comfort zone and have us move somewhere to where it's gonna be more inconvenient for us. To be in fear of like my childhood home being taken away is just, I mean, I don't, I can't even put that into words. St. Louis has been negotiating with neighborhood residents to acquire their homes if the NGA decides on the North St. Louis site. The city has acquired most of the needed parcels of land, while a few dozen are in the eminent domain process. That means the city can take homes if the NGA chooses the North St. Louis site. The mayor's office said it is using eminent domain as a last resort for unwilling negotiators and homes with title issues. They take your house and they just throw a few coins and, you, and they think that by throwing a few coins, uh, everything is okay and it's, it's not. Gustavo Rendon and Larry Chapman have been protesting at this old church site for weeks. They don't think the NGA will contribute to the city in the way it's marketed. First of all, this agency is not gonna create any type of urban community development around its borders. It'll be something that simply people will come to, they will go to work, they will eat inside in the, in the cafeteria provided by the agency, and then they'll go home at the end of the day. So the NGA has a choice to make. What's the best deal for the taxpayer? Is it, is it better to build on farmland, which you don't have to fight eminent domain issues, or you don't have to tear down buildings and redevelop the land? Or the agency can focus on the economic stability of a city and an area that desperately needs investment. We are the only location that will have a negative impact if we're not chosen. This is an opportunity to bring some jobs and investment in that area and help strengthen that area um, uh, significantly. You know, once, and so this is a good thing for the neighborhood. Whichever site the NGA chooses, the economic benefits will be felt for decades to come.